Okay, so I was having some issues with sample tank. Sample tank kept crashing, um, like I show in this video. Hello, I wanted to show an issue that I'm having with a sample tank. So I'm gonna open a sample tank and it works. So I put it in the track um, and it will work. Whatever I load will work. Um, let's see this. I don't know, you probably, I don't know if you can hear it, but anyways, it works. No problem with that. The moment I close this screen, it crashes. It takes sometimes a second and then it crashes. Um, here is the problem report. As you can see, I can send you a copy of this and I don't know why. Now, I was reading that it could have been an issue with how my library is set up. I use the product manager to install everything. Uh, here's the product manager. Um, the only thing that I did different was I selected where to install it and I install everything in a hard drive. But I think I didn't do a separation of sample tank three and sample tank four. And on that one, I also have two other things. So if that's the issue, how can I solve it? Or do I need to delete everything and then re-download? That video I submitted to IQ Multimedia and they took a couple of weeks to respond, but they finally reply and their message basically was that I needed to have a better organized system for sample tank in order to avoid crashes. Funny thing is that I use the product manager like they suggest to do the installation, but it somehow, when I selected to do it in an outside drive, in an external drive, because the sounds are too big, it somehow did not do it right. So I had a mess, like I, you, you probably saw in the, in the video. Um, so what I ended up doing is delete all the sounds from Sample Tank, all of them. I deleted everything. And then I didn't want to use the product manager because I was afraid that it was going to do the same. So I ended up doing it manually, which is a little bit of a, a, a dry, a, a, you know, it's crazy, but right now it's working perfectly. So the way I did it, I want to show you here is, um, first of all, when you, if you use a product manager, um, it will create an IK product manager folder in your computer. I strongly suggest for you to then copy that whole folder because it has all the installation files and copy it somewhere in your in a server or external drive or something. Because after 180 days, uh, you won't be able to access them. And you can buy for $10 the, uh, to be allowed to download them again, but you don't have to in case if you save them like I did, I save everything and I put it in my external, uh, in my server, I'm sorry. So uh, everything I'm doing is from my server right now. Um, but anyways. So first thing I had to do was I had to create in my external hard drive, this one, I had to create a sample tank three and a sample tank four folder. That's the first thing you have to do. After that, you install the actual program, sample tank four, the program only. You don't have to install sample tank three. The program I installed it to my hard drive. So that is, if you can see here in my applications, is there sample tank four. Then I start installing the sounds. So of course, if we go back to what I was doing in my program manager, here are all the sounds. Now, something important to notice is that here, it's easy to see which one is our sample tank three and which ones are sample tank four um, sounds. So if you open a sample tank four sound, I'm not going to complete the process because I already did it. You select the installer, you go through this, make sure that you direct it to where you want it to be safe. So in this case, I went to my external and then I went to external IK Mutual Media sample tank four right there and you open the first time you install it will create the subdirectories that you need you know the ones that I that I show you here it will create that for you 
Now, the good thing is that for sample tank four in the new macOS uh, Monterey, sample tank four installers are working fine. Sample tank three installers are not working. So what I end up doing is because anytime you try to run an inst installer for sample tank three it will crash. Eventually it will crash. You see, like you can see there. I apologize for the sound. My kids are upstairs and they're making a lot of noise. Um, so what I realized was that I need to have the same format. So in sample tank three, and you can see because all the sounds are there. So the first time I did it, I just opened sample tank, sample tank for my sun content. I grab all of this and I copy it to that folder. So that's pretty simple. Once I finished with the first part, I went to the second part and I did the same, but this time, instead of copying the sample, because I don't want to have two, right? Two sample folders. I just grabbed this and then I copy it here and you can see that it's already there. So it's manual to do and it's hard, but that way everything was working. Now, let me show you a couple of problems that I was running into. Something that I couldn't understand was which programs go to which to where. So for instance, the Allen Parson, does it go to sample tank three or four? But once you open the installer and zips the file, you, it will tell you if it's sample tank three or sample tank four. So if it's sample tank three, you know that the installer will crash most likely and you have to put all the sounds from that to your sample tank three folder. And you have to follow the same form. So instruments, you grab this one and then you put in your instruments. The library info, you grab this one and you put in the library info and the samples. And this one is important. This particular one doesn't have an, a folder inside. Some of them do have them. So what I did is in samples, I created a folder for it. But when I try to use it the first time, it crashed. Let me show you one that I did. I think what I haven't fixed yet. Uh, the brand of bird. Okay. That one, I created a folder because let me look to that one real quick. Uh, So this one, if you see samples, doesn't have a folder. So I was trying to keep everything the same. So I created a folder with a name, right? You see, and then I install it there. But when I try to use it, it doesn't work. And I want to show you how to fix it. So let me open that one. Uh, where is it? Da, 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 da. So here it is. I try to use it. It tells me an error. It can allocate, but this gives me exact, exactly why. And now I know what I need to do is basically it's not looking for a folder inside samples. It's looking for just the pack right there. So I go to my finder and I'm going to fix this one. So this one I'm going to just take out. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, you guys. Uh, there you go. Now it's there. I'm going to delete this one because I'm trying to keep everything organized. And now if, when I try to load it again, no problem. You can hear it is working perfectly. And of course, now I don't have it crash. Look, I close this. Everything is still working. So let me keep just going, giving you a few more tips about this. Most, um, sample tank for sound content installers will work sample tank three will not so those you will have to do manually for sample tank four you only have to let me just go close all of this so you can see for sample tank four which one is that to, let me see this one's four yeah four if it says four use the installer it's the easiest way to go just make sure that you're pointing it to sample tank 
4 folder and it will do that for you so you don't have to do it manually. If you sample 10 3, you have to use what I just showed you. If it's anything sample 10 3, you have to go to your um, the one where you are trying to send. Make sure you're in the sample 10 3 and then copy things. This one you copy here, but I already done it, so I don't I cannot I don't have to do it again. But you just copy everything and then send it to the right place. Only for sample 10 3. If you have this in the right order, like you see here, my icon multimedia is very organized. I have sample trend because sample trial, by the way, goes on its own in its own folder. Sample time four, sample time three, motodrome go in the old folder. Syntronic and Miroslav go in the sample tank three folder. You can see here. Syntronic and Miroslav go in sample tank three. If you have it like this, your your sample tank will probably work without an issue, without any issues. Like I want to show you here. Sample tank. I can open anything, Miroslav, and then let me load it. This one's taking a little longer to load, but it's loading, as you can see. So there's all of this is working. Citronic stuff too also works. Let me just take this. But now as you can see. So it's working pretty good. So anyways, I hope this helps. If you have any issues or you have any questions, please uh, let me know and I'll, be tr I'll try to put them up and try to answer as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps.